Just how you see yourself. Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. I know. I will. Good morning, Arthur. Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Good work, Miss Grimshaw. Not how. Oh, oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. <laughs> I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Ladies, that's a song. Oh, I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's right, too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more with a blue horse laying outside her door. <laughs> I got a girl in Valentine's. I like to drink that fancy wine. Blue and a half with two feet tall. Dragging her pants, pay for it all. I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't get her because she won't stay still. Look at that coach. He's all over the place. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Yeah, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Go on, Arthur. <laughs> Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. 
Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Incredible. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris in Paris. So that's... In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please.
friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. There? Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give me get my horse. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh no. Just go away. Mr. Please. I'm sorry. We need to talk, pal. Please, I can't get up. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I'm you have a nice day now, sir. Hey, my God. 
Glad to see you. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Partner? How you doing there? Happy back, mm -hmm. Hard. Yeah, here.
Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Hmm. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just, my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. <laughs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> really do not like you. I got across. Swim to the edge. Grab on to something. Keep your head above water. Look out, the rapids! Hold your breath! Don't you dare jump! Never comes with a name. I think I must be for a little longer. Hey, what's your problem? 
Expecting you back so soon, uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? Cell in the back. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Hey, any of it. Was... I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, no. oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Madam, uh, please remember what I told you. I just want to get a drink. Howdy. Find another spot. Hey, what do you call me? Why? Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. So Can't, can't we be friends? I didn't know better. I think you boys might be looking to scare some old ladies out of their chain. That's it! Wait. Oh, 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 Gentlemen, greetings and go. Who's this then? Okay, there. Howdy. Excuse me, partner. Hello there, mister. Have another drink here, partner. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, Who's sir. your friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato! This is Jim Boy Calloway. 
The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. I'm going to enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. I wouldn't do that if I was you. You talk quiet, huh? Hey, mister. Ain't you brought enough suffering to this place? Hello, Keep mister. Keep it moving. Hello. Oh, come on. Hi there, folks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Uh, well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, 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 hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer! Come here, you! These bastards! Come on, we can handle these fools! Who the hell do you think you are? You boys made a big mistake! Come on! Why are you fools, huh? Is that all you got? What the hell's going on down here? Let me stay out of this. Come here, you. 
you little greaser. You're going down. Yeah, you hit like a girl. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, what are you doing here? Ow. Yeah, you need to relax. Keep up the hard work. You got a problem? Hey, I don't care. I had about enough of you. My dear. Please. You're uh, it yeah. Yeah. Stick Stick punch. Come on. There's no uh, need for that's this. Enough for one. Wait. <laughs> 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 Waste of my time. For God's sake! 
Pagani. Mani. Hey, Arthur. Jose. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. Oh, you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but... Ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouthed bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him, let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Easy, boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was 
passed out so cold and we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? I guess we'll see. Oh, I am glad. <laughs> Easy. Hop on up there, let's go. Boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can... 
can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, I'll say. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, yeah, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that.
All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And... If he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned okay. on bear meat. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. Staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Hosea. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. You can't beat this fish here. It must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. <laughs> Something else on the ground, just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, 
What do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Pound, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? <laughs> Easy. Now it's too cold. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you can. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. You should just be wandering around here, friend. All right. All right, all right. Son of a bitch! I can smell it, beer!
bread. Our men have died here, you wish. <laughs> Untie me. You know what's good for you. This is uh, very kind of you. No, leave me alone. Come with me. Hi, lady. Now the fun starts. Shit. Come on, boy. Alright, let's go. <laughs> You goddamn maggot! Hey there, mister! What's your problem? Hey, partner! Mr. 
Who's this coward? You need help buttoning your lip? What do you do? Okay, boy. Let's go. You ain't tough, my friend. You're gonna be dead soon enough. <laughs> Damn you. Peace, peace. <laughs> So Come on, boy. The name's William. William, my child. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. 
Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. We should go well. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. your type of my damn pitch. Get away Just from minding my own business. I said go. Go. Look, friend.
อย่างเงี้ยจะไปสนใจในการแข่งขันเพื่อนๆของฉันฉันมาจากทิศตะวันตกของเมกซิโกเพื่อแข่งขันกับนักเรียนแบบจริงๆคุณคุณฉันเป็นนักเรียนแบบจริงๆไปดูกันโอเคแม่นั่นคือสิ่งที่ฉันชอบฟังดูแม่กฎหมายของฉันคือใครตัดสินมากกว่าบอทเทลวิ่งแค่ตัดสินใจและนามคุณพร้อมไหมโอเคชุด Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Ah, oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise all right, the let's stakes, do it. huh? Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough. Stand near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot. Oh man, you stupid, stupid. Ah, ah. So you can shoot, huh? Ah, here it is. Okay, man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Boy. Yep. Oh. Who's there? Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know, and I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Do you like the new camp, Jack? Sure, it's fine. It'll do us for now. Help me! Speak to them for me. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, 
Yeah. What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only bald. Oh, <laughs> just gonna cause you trouble. Come. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an O'Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. <laughs> Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. Talking about fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. The captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out... To survive like them? You live rough. You live hard, fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, 
This is why you're in O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Whoa! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed, drunk, wary of strangers, yep. And call him O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. It's a feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Put a word. Morgan, the next two. What's the plan? Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what. What the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. God damn it. Good work. We're moving on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Over here, feller on the log. What we doing about him? Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Jesus. Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. It's done! We move quick! We move quick! This is quite a hideout! We caught him on the drink! Turn 
Leave him. Combs still here. Hey, he said Combs be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Give it up. Now, what you stashing in here? The boy said Cone would be in the cabin. You all right? Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I swear! I mean... If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> right you are. Can we walk? No. What may I ask? No.
，哎，你搞明白吗？明白了，来、嗯，明白了，嗯。Well, at least you got something tucked away. 
Ain't nothing. People ask where you got it. You be sure to tell them. Goddamn America. More goddamn. Shot. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? More goddamn. Hey, evening, Mister. Uh, th thank you. Really. Thanks for your assistance. Give more. Please. Hey, partner. Hey, mister. Hey, there. <laughs> Appreciate you stepping in there. Bastard's been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told him where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, boy. You can't turn me in! This ain't just... Don't you put me down, friend? Ow. Oh, boy. I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. I'll let you in on a little secret. That okay. doctor in Valentine is running a shady racket in the back room of his shop. You know, there's money in it, too. <laughs> One long time. He 
It says there's that there's a bounty hunter. Give it shall not be. Kill. Ah! Oh. Oh. Wait, is he up? I can go. I got to be there. Buy them here. I seen a newspaper. They're saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm not for nothing that. That means you killed your sweetheart. <laughs> That's nonsense. Then, now come over here. Really weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? <gasps> oh, god damn it, you got him! <laughs> Sweet dumb son of a bitch! I guess I ought to come along with you then. <laughs> <laughs> Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. <clears throat> Come here. <clears throat> Don't you manhandle me. I'm <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> oh, he hit my fight. Fight, man. Fight, man. Oh, 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 Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh dear. What well, came over me? Did I just hear? Be quiet oh. with that. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. This the help you're looking for?
You're such a strong man. So tough and... I ain't falling for it. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your... That's more like it. Hush. Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. Lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just live. Oh, man. Son of a bitch should be on one. The hell is put my food. Morning, mister. Hey, friend. Keep the people safe. You better all be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you. What are you looking at? Okay there? Morning. That ain't good enough. Hello. Hello again. It's all good. Calm down. You better learn some goddamn respect.
What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Howdy, partner. First time? Customers love the gum if you're in need of some energy. No getting sick if you chew too much. Take as much as you need. No reason for you to be over here. Get back to the rest of the shop. Don't worry about it. You're starting to rile me now, pal. Get the hell out of here. If you get gone. I let's get leave. Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice...
Please, whoa. Ah, ça c'est pas du tout. Okay, boy. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Whoa. I won't die to know! Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, boy. Vou pai não. Hey, you're okay. Whoa, whoa, wait. Okay, girl. 
Now, nice and easy. Shh, 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 shh. Easy now. Stay calm. Oh, whoa! That's it. No. Easy. Whoa. Easy, man. Just let me get this off, boy. Yep. Oh, you man, you got me so much. Yep, yep. Girl. Let's get. Mister, help me! My horse died and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister! Sorry, partner. Good luck. 
Come on, mister. It won't take long. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Gotcha. It's on the left. One G, right now. I bet, man. Calm down. Rochingas! Untie me right now! Pesadilla! <laughs> this is very kind of you. Pinche <laughs> Dimente! <laughs> Here. Yep. Yeah. Howdy. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. But I, I know you want it. Smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm oh, out here God. well away from it. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> that horse looks like a fine traveling companion. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I just ain't in the mood for idiots right now. You want me to put a bullet in your skull? So get out of here while you still can. 
in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> so give generously, for that is what this country needs to help hey, each other. Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. No papers. Let's huh? try and help well, each other. Well, I can't other. give you full price on account of it's that. Might be stolen. Survival of the fittest. Generous. That's a good name for a horse. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Please give money hey, to the horse. It costs orphan. more for a reason. Remember. <coughs> remember. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. To receive. <coughs> Let's make this country a brotherhood of man. So give what you can. We're in it together. We can be one. Seeing quite a few horses coming through with spaven. We're collecting for an orphanage in San Denis. Please give if you can. <laughs> People, I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your, <laughs> use your strength to help Bet the Bet you weak. won't get saddle sores from this one. Come on, That's please, a nice addition please, on a saddle. Somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. Always good to have one of those. Give more. Please. Prove we ain't a land of savages. Prove we're here for each other. <laughs> I got one of them myself. Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Please be generous. Yep. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Always good to have one of those. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. Yep. We're collecting for an orphanage in San Denis. Please give if you can. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody got a heart. Hey there, mister. Hungry here. I know. I'll be tending to you shortly. Nothing like a fresh start. Hello. How can I help? Thanks. Misty. You dumb bastard! 
Oh, I got one. Excuse me, partner. Hello? Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? I don't give a damn what you say. Always the same. No damn follow through. Goddamn fool! Oh, look at you! I get a few cents. Pathetic. Hey, brother! I'm too old to get a job, Mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Oh. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Hmm. Oh, I'm going to go Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. ไปแล้วเออแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้
มาฆ่าบาปเดี๋ยวไม่ได้เดี๋ยวไม่ได้เหรอไม่ได้ไม่ได้หรอ I want you off the premises immediately Well whatever I don't need no brawling in here. You take it out in the street. Hey, hey, this ain't a place you want to misbehave. Above the hard work. I'm not the one to be disrespecting, Mister. Hey, I don't care. If you want to bleed, then you just keep it up. I'm close to breaking you in half. You make the rest of I'll us look good. I'll knock your head off. Why? Yeah. One Why good that? shot, and you're dead. <laughs>
It's none. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Yeah. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side, Arthur. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, uh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> If you say so, Arthur. Yep.
What's your problem? Oh, God. I'm sorry, man. Here we are. Whoa. Morning, mister. Good job, girl. Just one or two, right off of course, just a drink, no big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> you have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullert. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. I'm bored with being left. Will you shut the hell up? Get the hell off me! Get out of here! Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, just one more. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, pardon. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Wrong feller to ask. Benny? Benny, where are you? Benny! Hey, Lenny! What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, you see, because it'll... Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Yeah. Whoa, slippery little oh, shit, ain't you? Oh, come on! Oh, Lenny! Oh, Leave the kill alone, you goddamn oh, animals! God damn animals. Well, who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister.
Again. It's me. You're alive. Senor, I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck, huh? <laughs> I'm feeling good today, Way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. Well, nah. I'm feeling good too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? Who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> shoot! Go. Maldito! You just got lucky. 
If that makes you feel better, sure. Oh, that was damn pathetic. Oh, how about another round, huh? Right, Waste day. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Just like before, mi amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, you win. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Stupid, stupid. Ah. Ah. That's good shooting, I guess. Ah, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Hey, you! Have you seen a priest? What's your problem? Have you seen a priest all drunk and crazy? Leave me alone. Don't make me shoot you. Shoot me? Why would you shoot me? Have you seen a priest? Yes, he went that way. Angry jackass. Ah, I lost. I lost. Swanson! Hey, Reverend! Hey! Calm down! Hey! The hell Get you your hands off head. him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! Right. Uh, 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 come on! You're going down! Oh my god, I killed him! I'm gonna keep the law on you! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why? Hey, you! Get back here! Get back with Tony, man. Get You better stop right there! 
I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I now don't go bleeding about this. Hey. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Simple mistake. You can still be. You can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on! Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. What are you mumbling about now? Yeah. Ah, me vengo. Don't mind if I do. So sleepy. We shut up. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? 
Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot of me. We'll be back on our feet soon. Everyone's favorite uncle. Arthur? Who ain't? The boys around here. Tell him he's fine, Arthur. You ain't fine, boy. Watch yourself. <laughs> Ignore Arthur. Huh? He's only teasing. Well, could really use some good meat for this stew. It's the most thing I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. Good job, Mr. Be fine. Morgan. One of us now. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That night. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. Keep it loose. Be careful. Oh, shit. Here. Now, watch me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
You all right there? Ain't gonna harm Mister, you anymore. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's Easy gonna write this friend. off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You up from the east, sir? If you need anything, let me know. I know it's a lot, but I really do have everything you need. Food throughout the shop, fishing bait next to the counter, and most importantly, liquor to the right of the counter. Now, let me just look in here. Popular even with the tourists here. Uh huh. Something you're interested in? Customers sure love that. Good then. come in for that all the time. Popular even with the tourists here. Why is it a Now that's something you'd like. Come in for that all the time. I'll go to work on you if you ain't careful. Gee, customers sure love that.
Good. Folks come in for that all the time. even with the tourists here. See, that's caught your attention. Folks come in for that all the time. Anything interest you? Yeah. Popular even with the tourists here. You won't be sorry, I promise. I'm sure you enjoy the finer things there. Sure. Folks come in for that all the time. Customers sure love that. Folks come in for that all the time. Keep browsing. Really closing up now. Let's make this quick. All right. What do you have now? Apparently, those Blackwater robbers are still on the loose. They got that whole town on lockdown. Come on in. This arrive? I'd like a room, please. Room's ready whenever you need.
Вот, полкаешь. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mick. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Jones. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. But you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. That's right there, man. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum, but I had eyes on you. Woman, like I said, I need to see some. I got 
I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up. By letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Yep. 
Welcome, friend. Good on you. Get a fresh start. Thanks, Mister. Yeah. Hey, Mister. Oh dear, I don't have it. Oh! Hello. Quite a day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Yeah, yeah, come on. Photography. Yeah, I get That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. 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 How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. See Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Uh, Who knows? <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and uh, pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. 
You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. <laughs> Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Hey, they pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Give it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, 
My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's she taken a turn. Where is she? A terrible turn. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Come on, let's move! Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's, She's taken a turn. Where is she? A terrible turn. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there. Put your bottle.
Let's get up there. I don't have it. I just want to do it. Two more. Look out. Ah! The cab's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down. Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is John's bound? Maybe we can turn to ourselves. Still time. Move up. Come on. On top of it. down come on Lancy <laughs> seeing you here you know you're a lot less ugly from that other angle Arthur come on <laughs> do we get a hug Arthur a warm embrace for a lost brother now found <laughs> you know Nothing means more to me than this gang, the bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Mr. Careful how you go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Oh, 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 oh. Saw you over there. Bien. You're okay. Easy now. Let me have a look at you. Easy now. It's okay. Nice and easy. Good. Good. Down. Whoa. Easy. 
Please. Oh, whoa now. Hey now. There you go. All done. Smooth. Okay. Yep. Out of the damn way! Pull it. Horse that Just back off. Say that again. I dare you. Yep. <laughs> Hi there, mister. Good girl. Hey, partner. Hi. <laughs> hey, move it around. Oh, you're cold, man.
Hey there! Back in the wagon, sir. <laughs> Let me out! Shoot the lock! <laughs> Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies out here. <laughs> Might be something there for you. <laughs> huh. Thanks again. Okay. Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. How you do? Who's this coward? Hey, ain't no reason to talk like that. Just shut up and turn back around. Leave me be! Come on. Hello there. I can give you a... Little. Thanks. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give them one of these ribs, yep. just watch them grow. We're collecting for an orphanage in San Denis. Please give if you can. <laughs> what you been feeding this horse? Cake? I'm happy to stable that for you. No papers. Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. That's all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... Use your strength to help the weak. Oh, it's you. Hello, mister. I hear hey, mister. Is in quite a bad way. Hey, there. I hope you're not here to cause more... 
Hey, y'all. We don't want any more trouble from you. Hey, partner. Good Lord, just got to teach this town. You ain't worth two shits whole uh, damn lot of you. Howdy, friend. You worth hey there, cowboy. One Hello there, sir. Tree. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Buffalo. All right. What can I do for you? Redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, no redskin. Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. You should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. Hey, Quentin! I took a Hello, piss sir. in your chair again. I really like hope you're joking. Here. Hey there. You don't say. Hey, partner. Greetings. Thank you. Watch one of the deputies let a fella out of jail. Okay, you there? How you do? New batch of shine just hit. Look out! That's what I hear. Justice will be served in this town today! You took three right, innocent lives, <laughs> and for that, the law demands that you shall pay no, with your own. No, please, God, please. Go on already. Please let him go. Do you have any last words before you meet your judgment? Yeah, I wish I could kill him all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. Get him. Oh, oh, we will not tolerate oh, detritus oh, like this oh, in our community. Justice oh, 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 prevailed today. Oh, <laughs> Don't you look at him, boy. Just run home. Partner? Hey there. Hey, mister. Hello there. Hello. Uh, hey there, partner. Hello there. Come on. Move it. Let's go, girl. So, how's things? Howdy. Howdy. Hey. Partner? Hello, gentlemen. We don't hey, Mister. More trouble from Hello. You here. Hello, partner. Hello there. Howdy. You don't look tough. What'd you say to me? My oh, Lord. So I seen mushrooms with bigger brains. You got cojones, Mister. Why don't you get out of here? What was that? 
Hey there, mister. Hi there, mister. Hey. Hey, mister. Hey there. Evening. Get yourself out of there. <laughs> I don't. Nope. Don't like the look of it. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like you. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy. <sighs> They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess... I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs, and no hands. Uh, hell, uh, that stinks. 
Okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Calloway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feet. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness! <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this big star, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away. Right. Don't do it. There you go. No. 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 You did not. No. <laughs> You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. That might be fun.
Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Hey, Maybe. Man. Just a little one. Oh, just wants it this Great. I know you bastards missed Mr. me. Mr. McGuire is back. <laughs> so Even you, on. Arthur. Let's have Even ourselves you. a party. <laughs> Here we go. Well, no I'm back home now. Oh, so everything's going to be okay. Oh, Uncle no, Sean please. is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. You are looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. It's stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about it? Not that then, not. <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn there, what's that? Oh, oh let friend. him have some fun. <laughs> He's know been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over the open with the rest of them. Okay, that's the 